Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen, Pastor Joanne. The Lord has spoken with me again. The Lord Jehovah He spoke with me about the Church of Christ in Nigeria. And uh, the Lord took me there and I see the church. I see the meeting in Nigeria moving to the stadium. There the, is the a changing of venue that takes place. But as the Lord changes venue um, and the people are going to the stadium, then I see a lot. I see myself going through cracks on the soil and jumping deep, like one meter deep cracks and coming up and rocks and it was very tumultuous it was very difficult there i don't know that that is an earthquake that happened there or but it was difficult for people to get to the stadium for some reason there were cracks on the soil the, the whole place on the land while people were trying to get to the stadium and it was difficult for them as though those but that made it difficult for people, for the Church of Christ, to get to the stadium and listen to the holy oracles of the Lord. And so this was a tremendous moment of prayer in front of us here, in front of me, for this church. And uh, the church in Nigeria, the, the church that longs for Christ, the Lord made me know, the church whose heart loves the Lord. But this is now going to be the opportunity that the church in Nigeria will get because the Lord has shown me how the hearts of the people are yearning for the truth and how serious they are with God Almighty. They are serious with the Lord. And so uh, the, the, the revival will come, but in between there is the hurdle. There is this hurdle in between that they have to, to get over. They have surmount this to get to that revival because uh, the voice said, let us move to the stadium. And then there was a change of venue. I see as though people are going to stadium. But then there are these beaches that are to jump in their rocks that were split on the surface of the soil, like one meter, and there are several of them. And so there is uh, this hurdle. I don't know if it's caused by an earthquake or what shakes the earth to cause those big, deep cracks. Uh, so the, the becomes yet another moment. I think the Lord is now focused on the church in Nigeria to love her, uh, to, to prepare her for a big visitation that will take place in the next two weeks. And so it's a moment to behold for that church. And uh, there is going to be prayer and fasting that will start. I will start for this church because the Lord has shown me their hearts. It's a big revival nation. It's a nation that fears God much more than Kenya, and they have a greater fear of God than Kenya. The Lord showed me their hearts. And so when this message comes, it is going to blow up a big revival of righteousness, and they might even be the leader of this revival. That is what the Lord has spoken, even as we prepare for the mission to Nigeria. There's the people, there's a change of venue, but there are some hurdles they will get through and the Lord will be able to help them. I have blessed the church in Nigeria on this day in the mighty name of Jesus. And this is also a lesson to Kenya that when you have such a revival, please do not take it for granted. It is not your right. It was by grace. The Lord, for some reason, chose Kenya, but you have to carry it honorably, maturely, and sensibly that you may not lose it. Because you see the greater yearning for this out there. This is the wake-up call for Kenya to carry this revival with great honor, knowing that uh, it is not out there, and many nations are now coming on board, like Ghana and Nigeria. And those are much more serious nations when it comes to the Lord than Kenya. May the Lord bless the church in Nigeria. Shalom.